Welcome to Arizona. Very hot and very sunny. So this is part one of the Solar Chronicles. Today is January the 16th, 2024. We are just south of Gila Bend at Sonora Desert RV Park. We just unplugged and we're heading down to Organ Pipe Cactus. Uh, just wanted to kind of go over the solar. So we have full battery charge. So we have 200 amp hours. Uh, as previously mentioned in my other videos, they are the batteries we picked up from uh, Getaway RV. So we're gonna see how long they last. We've got a 200 watt portable solar panel from Renogy as well as the 190 watts on the roof. So we're gonna measure our consumption and see how it goes for us here and we'll update you as it happens. Take care. Good morning everyone from Oregon Pipe National Monument. We are at the Twin Peaks campsite. It is a dry campsite although there's water and washrooms with solar heated showers. It's a really great place and I'm walking down one of the back rows because it's really quiet and you can't even whisper without people hearing what's going on so just wanted to give everybody an update on the solar uh, charge capability and how much battery power we were using at night. So generally the sun goes down about 5.30 and after that there is no solar. So between that time and nine o'clock the next morning, we're using about 30 amp hours. One night we used 45, but it was a colder night so the heater ran more. We do run the inverter at night so we can watch a movie. We downloaded some Netflix movies so I guess the answer to the question would be if you have sun, which as you can see today is not so sunny, still with an overcast sky, we were able to generate about five amp hours from our panels. So we have the factory 180 watts on the roof of the Alto. Then we have a 200 watt Renogy fold out suitcase solar panel system. So between the two on a hot sunny day with direct sun at this time of year, about 11 amps. So in about three and a half hours, we recovered about, well, 100% of our batteries. And the rest of the day, we charge our electronic devices and our rechargeable batteries for outdoor solar lights. So if you have sun and you have a panel that you can aim at the sun, which we have, we're able to recover if the day is sunny. Even on a partly cloudy day, I was getting four to five amps. We do have the compressor fridge, so we're using that power as well. But on a colder day, obviously, the fridge doesn't need to keep up quite as hard as on a hot day. So that's all I have to say. We're going to move on to Sonora Desert RV Park, plug in the 30 amps, charge up the batteries, and move up to Lost Dutchman State Park. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.